In the last couple of videos, we've been looking at using the addition formula for probability. In this particular video, we're going to use the addition formula and a Venn diagram to solve a word-based problem. We're told the probability that a child in a school has blue eyes is 0.27 and the probability they have blonde hair is 0.35. The probability that the child will have blonde hair or blue eyes or both is 0.45. A child is chosen at random from the school. Find the probability that the child has A, blonde hair and blue eyes, B, blonde hair but not blue eyes, or C, neither feature. The quick way to do this is simply add these two up and subtract this one to give us the intersection. In an exam, you will need to approach it more formally. So what we'll do is look at blue eyes. We'll also look at blonde hair. And then this is the key part right here, blonde hair or blue eyes or both. And that is going to be the union. So what I'm going to do is, on my Venn diagram, I'm going to put E for eyes and H for hair. So E for eyes and H for hair. If we consider B and B are going to cause issues, so I'll just say eyes and hair. The addition formula can be written in the form, the probability of E intersection H is equal to the probability of E plus the probability of H minus the probability of E union H. And I've written this out in long form. As stated, if we want to find the intersection, we simply need to add this one to this one and subtract the 0 0.45. So what we can do in an exam, the probability of E intersection H, i.e. what's going in the middle, or the, child, uh, the children with both blonde hair and blue eyes, will be the 0 0.27, that's the probability of E, plus the 0 0.35, minus for 0 0.45. So if I add these two together, I'm going to get 0 0.62. Subtract that one away, what's that going to give me? 0 0.17. So 0 0.17 will go in here. Now we know 0 0.45 is the whole of the union, which means outside we can have 0 0.55. Remember, this is a sample space. We're dealing with probabilities. All probabilities equal 1. So what we're going to have on the outside is 0 0.55. Now, blue eyes, 0 0.27. I've already got 0 0.17 of it, so all I need is 0 0.1. And blonde hair, we've got 0 0.35. I've already got 0 0.17, so this is going to be 0 0.18. And if you add all of these up, you're going to end up with 1. So we can now use a Venn diagram. We don't need to use a, the uh, formula again. You can do if you wish, but we don't have to. Blonde hair and blue eyes. That is the intersection right here, and that's going to give us this value right here. So we can say the probability of blonde hair and blue eyes, or in this case blue eyes and blonde hair, is going to be 0 0.17. Blonde hair but not blue eyes, and if we wanted to write this, this would be now blonde hair but not blue eyes is going to be E dashed intersection H. And that's going to be now, if we look over here, we want the blonde hair but not blue eyes. And that's going to be 0 0.18. And then neither feature is going to be now the probability of not E intersection not H. And that's going to be 0 0.55. And as we discussed in the uh, last video, or a few videos back, that could have been written as a probability of E union H not and that was from De Morgan's film. This is very formal. I personally wouldn't do it in, uh, in my usual workings, but if you're on exam, you might want to show a bit, some formal workings, but essentially all you're doing, if you add those two and you can spot that this is the intersection, then the, uh, sorry, you can spot that that's the union, then the intersection is just these two added, subtract the union, and then we can work from a Venn diagram.